Welcome to Best Kept Secrets Travel, episode three. My name's Morgan. And my name's Will, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about another place which you might have never heard of. Abkhazia. Roll the intro. Best friends and that's for life who stay traveling. I'm talking worldwide, 65 countries between the two. Every moment is so unbelievable. Sharing the best kept secrets about the trips and mistakes they made that they can't forget. So tell me if you're ready for a time to remember as they gear up for the next adventure. Yeah. Woo. Best kept secrets travel. Before we start this amazing episode three of season three talking about abkhazia we're going to quickly tell you how you can help plant some trees 100 subscribers on youtube we plant a tree in a national trust site for every 50 downloads on all of our podcast platforms we plant another tree around the world we've done them in the amazon we've done them in bolivia in australia in new zealand in tanzania in rwanda in mangrove areas we've done them in north america we've done them Not all across really. europe we have done and planted trees so many countries thanks to you guys listening and the more that you listen and the more you share the secret and share this episode the more trees we can help plant around the world share the secret share the secret plant the trees enjoy the episode right starting off our quick travel guide to abkhazia Abkhazia is a disputed territory in the Black Sea coast of the Caucasus region, south of Russia and north of Georgia. After a brief war in 1992-1993, Abkhazia seceded from Georgia and has been recognised as an independent state by Russia and a few other countries, but not by the United States or the most of Europe. The Abkhaz people are a mixture of Georgian and Circassian with a small percentage of Russians and Armenians. The country's currency is the Russian ruble, which is accepted almost everywhere. The official language is Abkhaz, which is written in the Cyrillic script. Russian is also widely spoken. English is really not commonly spoken. So you're best on trying to top up your language knowledge before you go. Ooh. Abkhazia is a beautiful and rugged country with stunning mountain scenery. The Black Sea coast has long sandy beaches and crystal clear water. There may be ancient churches and fortresses dating back to the Byzantine period. Abkhazia is still largely undeveloped, so it's a great place to escape the crowds and enjoy some peace and quiet. Would you like a super fun fact? Yes. Of course you would. Abkhazia is the only country in the world that has a higher percentage of women than men. I wasn't expecting that one. Neither. Not that I 100% believe it, but apparently... You 110% believe it. 99.5% of confidence intervals on this. (laughs) Fantastic. The best kept secret about Abkhazia is it's a great place to escape the crowds and enjoy some peace and quiet. Abkhazia is still largely undeveloped, so it's a great place to find some solitude and sort of travel a bit off the beaten path. The best way to travel is by car. The roads are in good condition and there are plenty of places to park. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. There are also a few routes by the buses connecting the main towns and the villages, but the buses are often really crowded and not very comfortable and too hot. So this could be somewhere to travel when you're maybe slightly over 25 because that's normally when it becomes a lot easier to rent a car. The best time to visit Abkhazia is during the summer months when the weather is warm and the beaches are crowded. The winter months can be cold and windy and the ski resorts are usually closed. As we stated earlier, the official language is Abkhaz and Russian's also widely spoken. And if you really, really, really want to know the most important snippet phrases to learn when you go and travel in Abkhazia is go on our website, look for this post, which we're going to link in the description if you're listening and watching on YouTube. And we've got some of the best phrases on there. Stravtviet. Including. Which is hello. 
We have. Was where is the nearest toilet? Good Sami Blitzheishi toilet. That's definitely not correct, but we'll run with it. Spasibo. Spasibo. Thank you. Thank but you. But we can't tell them all, Morgan, because. Cac de la. We want you to go on the website and enjoy. Enjoy the fun of trying to say them yourself. As these are weird, wacky, if you don't speak Russian or Abkhaz, like we clearly don't. Wait, really? You don't? Do you not speak Russian? Do you not speak Abkhaz? Oh, no, I speak Abkhaz, not oh, Russian. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, 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 I'm fluent. Makes sense, totally. Yeah, it's my second language. Obviously. <laughs> After Spanish. Uh, no, no, no. English no, no, no. is your no, no, third. No, no, no. no um... Or is American your first? <laughs> no, I actually... <laughs> I'm trying to think of how much politically correct now. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> segue away from that. <laughs> the best food and drink in Abkhazia is Russian cuisine. Ooh. The Russian restaurants in Abkhazia are some of the best in the country, and the food is always fresh and delicious. There are also a few Georgian restaurants in Abkhazia, which serve traditional Georgian heavy dishes, such as... Kacha... <clears throat> Kacha puri and... Kin chin 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 chinkali. Chinkali. Yep, nailed them. The most popular drink oh, I've in got this one. I've got this one. Is vodka. Yes. Great pronunciation. Vodka is the most popular drink in Abkhazia. For some people out there who want to stereotype Russians, it probably doesn't come as a surprise. And it is served in almost every bar and restaurant in Abkhazia. There are plenty of things to do in Abkhazia. From sightseeing. Hiking, skiing, and swimming. Sounds pretty good. So if you're looking for a beautiful and rugged country to escape to with stunning mountain scenery and long sandy beaches, Abkhazia is perfect place for you. It it's is still very underdeveloped. It is, it is. It's unknown. It is, and it's and it can potentially be a bit scary to go to at first when you're travelling to these uh you not haven't been to Abkhazia, have you? Un no, not yet. These unrecognized countries can be it's a bit you're you're a bit nervous to start with. Well but... they're ones which you're not taught about ever in school. I mean I know a lot of people who are bad with their country names, but if I said Transnistria or Abkhazia, they're probably clueless. Yeah, I think majority of people well, be I. I'd never. I didn't heard know of much about Abkhazia. I knew Transnistria until a couple of years ago. Because obviously, yeah. my, you know, second language. And all. Second language, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, makes total sense. If, if you enjoyed this episode, I hope you have. Please let us know. Message us on Instagram. Comment on our Instagrams. Leave us an amazing review on our podcast channel. Comment and subscribe and make sure those notifications, click that bell so you get those notifications about when we post these snippets of beautiful information. Make sure to always share the secret. If you found anything interesting in this episode or learn anything new, send it to one of your friends. Hopefully they'll enjoy it too. Maybe. Maybe. Share the secret. Roll the outro. You're me... You were meant to say, share the secret, then I'm meant to go plant the trees, but I was kind of waiting for you to do it. Try it again. Go. Share the secret. Plant the trees. Roll the outro. There we are. See you in the next episode. Yeah, let's make it happen. I hope that you can handle uh, going on adventures. Best kept secret travels. Yeah, all over the globe. Having fun, you know the deal. Amazing secret locations. Hang out with Morgan and Will. Uh, educate and entertain. Haggle in the market. Uh, sharing their experiences. Time to get it started. Let's go.